This is not a video I thought I would ever have to make. But I have kept a secret from you guys that I never should have. I've tried so many different times to film this video to just express my thoughts and get what I'm about to say off my chest, but no matter what I script, no matter what I write, the words just won't come out right. So I figured the best way would just be to do an impromptu video like this to explain what's been going on with me. Like I said, I've been keeping this a secret for a while because I didn't want to hurt anyone's feelings, I didn't want to disappoint you all, but it's just come to a point where I have to address it. I needed to let you all know that in light of what I'm going through right now, I'll be quitting book two, and I'm doing this so I can follow what I'm truly passionate about. I hope you all will understand and support me on this journey. Hey guys, I'm Thomas White and I'm back with Thomas White's Food Reviews. Today we are going to be looking at the Taco Bell Cravings Trio. This is one of my personal favorite items on the Taco Bell menu. So I am very eager to dig into this once again. I got my large mango tea. Ugh, good stuff, very refreshing, very fruity and you know just a lot of good natural sugars i think this is one of the healthier options in terms of drinks you can get at taco bell so if you're trying to watch your calories definitely recommend the mango tea with the cravings trio it's important to remember that it's only five dollars so it's very economical and i would definitely use it if you are a broke student like me first off i'm gonna try the doritos locos taco i mean this is just a classic taco bell item how can you go wrong with this it combines two of the very best things about Taco Bell, which is that they will make a brand deal with literally anyone in order to sell more food. And it just combines two things that are so majestic from the taco to Doritos. And Doritos are my personal favorite chip. So of course I'm gonna be biased in favor of this already. Look at that. Look at that sweet, sweet artificial goodness. Mmm. Um, if that isn't a taste of heaven, I don't know what is. I mean, you know, some... And you know, sometimes the shell can be a bit soggy, but here the shell is actually really crunchy and really good. Mmm. Plus the meat is just so juicy. And that lettuce, I mean, it adds the perfect amount of wetness that you want in a food like this. Sorry, this is a sketchy part of town, so I'm kind of looking over my shoulder a lot. Also, one of the nice things about the taco is this little taco boat you can use to get all the sweet, sweet goodness that's in there. Oh, man. It's like a second meal. And then next up is my personal favorite item on the menu, and that is the Crunchwrap Supreme. I mean, this is just everything good about Taco Bell wrapped in one. You've got meat, you've got nacho cheese, you've got regular cheese, you've got lettuce and sour cream, all wrapped up in a nice convenient bundle. It's kind of like a quesadilla, but better. I mean, look at that, take a look at that. And I know that you can't feel it from where you are, but man, this just feels so warm. It's really nice to have on a cold day. You could even like put your face on it if you wanted. All right, so here we go. Mmm. There. That hits the spot. So if you look at the inside there, you can see it's like half taco, and then you've got lettuce on the bottom. So it's kind of an in ingenious design. It allows you to get all the flavors on your tongue all at once. I'm going to keep eating, but I'm going to go ahead and give my ratings for this meal right now. For the Crunchwrap Supreme specifically, I would give it a 9 out of 10. It is just so good. It is so close to perfection. The only thing that holds it back a little bit for me is that it comes with tomatoes. I don't like tomatoes, so I always ask for the tomatoes off. And sometimes they overload it with sour cream, and I don't like too much sour cream on my Taco Bell stuff. So 9 out of 10 for this. And I already ate the Doritos Locos Taco. But depending on the day, 
Sometimes the taco can be good, sometimes it can't be. So I'm gonna go ahead and give the Dorito taco a seven out of 10. You wanna make sure that they don't have the soggy shells. If they use stale or soggy shells for the Doritos taco, it goes down to like a four out of 10. So make sure you go during the lunch hour when they are using fresh shells. And then finally, the mango teas gets a 10 out of 10. I, I could live off of this stuff, it is that good. So yeah, that's my review of the Cravings Trio Taco Bell. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Be sure to like and subscribe and comment below on what fast food item you would like me to try out next. Oh yeah, if you couldn't tell already, happy April Fool's.